Hi guys and welcome to The Batch Lady where I show you how to make fast, simple, homemade food that you can make in advance and freeze and use whenever you want it. Now one thing that's really good, this is part of my lunch series, so um, if you want to do lunches for school holidays and you just don't want to be bothered having to do lunches every day or if you want to do lunches that you can take to work, this is a really good way to do it. Now you can make a bagel with ham and cheese very easily and it doesn't take much time. But what I usually find is I buy a packet of these bagels and three get eaten and three go mouldy. I tend to buy the ham and bits of it get used and there's always about that much left in the bottom of the packet that seems to never, seems to go a bit to waste. So if you've got anything that you think you might waste, you can do this with it. Put it in the freezer, bring it out and just use like a normal sandwich. So actually what I'm doing this summer because I want the kids to be able to do their lunches on their own is I'm just making them up in advance, okay? So um, my kids love bagels and sometimes I've already got some in the freezer that are just plain. I like these ones because they're already cut in half. They're thins so they're not as sort of thick and heavy as the other bagels but they're at least already chopped for them. So there's some in there that they can just put in the toaster and have for breakfast. These ones I am just going to put, I've already got some sliced cheese just because I had it from something else. So I'm just going to put some cheese and ham then they can choose if they want to, um, if they want to heat it up or if they want to have it cold. I'm not going to put any condiments on it because the cheese should melt or at least be quite quite soft. And um, I want to show you actually, hold on, I've left it off camera. One minute. I want to show you these things. I don't know if you've ever seen them, toaster bags. Okay, they come like this. It's a little bag for your toaster. It's washable, you can use it a hundred times. I tried this out just the other day and it's great. Let me just put a bit of ham on this and I'll show you. So. And then this comes out the freezer, you take it out of the cellophane, you get your kids, or your kids do the whole lot, put it in, put it in the toaster and it will heat it. It won't toast it crisp, but it will just heat it and slightly melt it. Delicious, great way to do it. So toaster bags might be good for your kids if you've got kids off on school holidays. So all you want to do is when you make these, is to very quickly assemble them. One's only got cheese, I've ran out of ham, but that's great, I needed that all used anyway. Then you want to get cling film and cling film each one individually, okay? So wrap it as tight as you can in the cling film and then put it in your Ziploc bags. That way they're not going to stick together, they're not going to get freezer burn. They're all individually wrapped so you can grab them if you're going on a picnic. They also help to stay, keep everything cool until you get there, so you can just take them out frozen. By the time you've got to lunchtime, they are good to go. Cheese and ham bagels. Easiest thing ever. When you're in the mood for it, that's the best time to do it, of making these sort of things. Yes, you can make each individual one, but you're going to have to take it all out, get your ham, get your cheese, and you might waste stuff. This way, I've just bought some ham, some cheese, the bagels. Nothing is being wasted. It's all going in. I've got two children and myself, so that would do us for two days lunches. We'd have one each, so if we're going away on a day, I'll probably take these with me. If I'm short of a breakfast or two, they can take one as well. Last one goes in. Make sure it's really tight, really tightly wrapped. And they are just getting thrown in my freezer, ready for no one to keep bugging me about what's for lunch in the holidays. Thanks for watching this lunch section. Bye.